Yeah, this is a temporary. Okay. What's up, guys? This is a do it yourself video for making uh, food storage for your chicken coop. And uh, very simple tools required. Just going to be a little simple hand saw. I'm not sure what works best for PVC piping, but this is what I had laying around the house. Worked out great. I went to the local plumbing store and I got a tube of the two inch PVC piping that they had. It was in a really long tube. Cut these pieces in half. Sure to continue to turn the pipe seems to work better if you turn it towards you but I don't have two uh, I don't have like two of those saw horses so I'm just doing it on the table continuously turning it to me and making sure I don't go all the way through the pipe yeah. you got sandpaper hit the ends of it with sandpaper smooth out the edges we've got a 45 degree elbow with a straight on there as well. I believe it's a male coupling. And then this one right here is a 90 degree elbow. We're just gonna stick those two together. I'm gonna add that to the bottom of the two inch PVC piping I have. It's gonna make, it's gonna be something just like this right here. So yeah guys, we'll take PVC piping that I've already cut We'll stick that on the end of the 90 degree coupling. And you want to make sure that you get the right one because if not, if you put it on the 45 degree angle straight, everything's just going to run right off the bottom of the tubing onto the floor in your chicken coop. So yeah guys, make sure you get the, the, the 90 degree. Make sure you get the 90 degree angle elbow on there. And then I've also bought these are two inch PVC. I'm not sure it's a cap. I'm not sure what they usually use it for, but I'll stick that on the top of the pipe. It'll, it'll set up just like this right here. I'm gonna connect that to the side of my chicken coop. And yeah, you'll be able to just insert all the food from the top. I'll put a funnel on the top. You'll insert all the food, plug it with a cap. You don't ever have to worry about water getting in there. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure I, I'll never fill this pipe all the way full. I'll just do it about halfway. But with the length right here, you can just set it on the ground. Still at a pretty good size. You just fill it from the funnel. So yeah, now that we got the first one down, I'll go ahead and add all the pieces to the next two. This is very simple guys. It's gonna be very efficient, I believe. I don't have many birds. If you have more birds, you might wanna do more. But with these right here, it'll keep the birds full. I noticed that they go through the food like crazy. They're constantly turning their food. And if they're not going through it before I get a chance to refill it, then it's got wet from the rain. Tennessee is crazy. It's May right now. Usually it's pretty hot and dry. We are getting thunderstorms left and right. So this right here will help prevent from water getting in their food. Minimize, minimalize the waste on that, so that's always a positive. Another thing I was going to mention, 
I'm not inserting any glue on any of this. I'm sure you can add uh, plumbing tape or glue if that's your preference, but it's these pipes are so new, they snap together, it holds together really good. They're gonna, there's gonna be food going in them, so I'm not sure on like what the guidelines are on that. I'm sure once it dries, it'll be fine. I just don't wanna take the chance on hurting the chickens or anything. All right, now we'll finish snapping all these on. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at what the pipe should actually look like. That's with the topper on there. The link, that is totally up to your preference. I did this one so it would be easier to set a funnel right on top of that and just fill the chicken feed. Like I said, I'll probably fill them about halfway up. Just see how quick they turn the food. I don't know if it'll, moisture will get inside of that or if it'll get caked up, stuck in the pipe. So this will all just be a test run to see how it works out. But yeah, guys, and as I was saying, this is the piece that you want to be connected to the bottom of your piping on the 90 degree angle one. And then you'll put the 45 degree elbow with a male end on there. You'll stick that right in the elbow. All right, sorry for the shakiness. And yeah, it'll sit just like that. Yeah, like I said, I tried it by switching it around putting the 45 degree straight one on there and as you can see it's a lot different it'll just create too much of a funnel i guess and just shoots it all right out to the ground All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna use this one to hold it there temporarily. And I'm gonna get me some, uh, I'll either try really large zip ties or maybe one more of these. And I'll secure it at the top and the bottom and hold that in place. All right, guys, yeah, I've got them completely filled up. Got the caps back on the top. As you can see, not much came out at the bottom. Just start out slow, and then it will catch and release. And the tube will fill up as the chickens eat it. From the bottom, it'll just continuously drop without spilling on the floor. We'll see how these guys, see how much they enjoy it. I'll post a follow-up video. Okay, guys, uh, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. If you've done this before or if you try it out, let me know how it works. You'll just stick a funnel to the top of that. Fill it up with all of your chicken feed. I went about a quarter of the way up. You can go halfway. I'm sure you can go all the way to the top. Just make sure your chickens never run out of feed. And it also will keep the moisture out as well. Yeah, I'm going to fill that up with the chicken feed and then stick this little top on there. And that will keep the moisture out. It's working guys, just wanted to show you guys that and the chicken feeder in action. Duck seems to be more fascinated with the hay. <laughs> but yeah guys, uh, as always, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something from the video. If not, you got a kick out of watching me trying to make a do-it-yourself video. But uh, this is David Smith with Sunkey TV. You can find me on Instagram at firecracker125. Yeah, guys, uh, just hit the like button. Share the video if you feel it was useful or if you think someone else might think it's useful. But, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell if you guys want to see every time I post a video. And, yeah, man, there will be more videos to come. Thank you guys for helping me reach uh, 100 subscribers. Peace.